this this should be I, guys this should be against the law <laughs> this thing right here should be unlawful you should need a permit to carry this stuff and wear it all right i'm just saying that's how good it is on this guy's skin YouTube, what's good, man? What's popping? What's crack-a-lacking with your focalition? <laughs> what's good, man? I'm your boy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I cover fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, I hope you guys won't count it robbery to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free. Trust me. Hit the subscribe button to make sure you hit the bell icon as well to ensure anytime I upload a new video on my channel, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So guys, you see the title, man. You know what time it is, man. We summoning the compliment guides today. I do a video like this every now and again. I don't know the last time I've done a video about the compliment guides or my most complimented fragrances of all time, but I like to go back and I'll compare this list to that list to see what, if anything, has changed from the last time I did this particular video. So today I'm not taking into account what got me the most compliments this year. I'm just talking about since I've really been full-fledged, 100% into this hobby, uh, which has been for about eight years now, just in the hobby. I haven't been on YouTube that long, but in this hobby. You know, I'm kind of going from that point moving forward. What has been the fragrances that have gotten me the most compliments since I've been, you know, again, heavy into really being a fragrance collector? That's what we're going to be talking about today. And I get tired of giving this disclaimer always, but you guys already know this. I'm not saying if you wear any one of these fragrances, you won't get a compliment. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when I wear these fragrances on my skin, most of the time, if I go out in public, these 10 right here are almost, you know, a can't miss for me. Serious business. These are the 10 right here that I can almost count on. If I wear them and I go out in public around multiple people, these 10 are my most complimented fragrances to date so this is gonna be fun man i hope you guys are gonna enjoy it if you want to see what's on my list then you guys know the routine keep it locked right here we're about to get into it <laughs> let's get it The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. These fragrances are going to be in no particular order because, again, they all do well for me in the compliment category. I hope you guys are join, enjoying the ensemble today. I went with a little bit more of a monochromatic kind of scheme here with the navy, with the navy blue pinstripe suit. Uh, again, the pocket square has hints of, uh, has navy blue and hints of the same color buttons, if you can see it. You probably can't. Uh, that are in my jacket. It's kind of hard to see the buttons. Don't worry about that. But they have like the same hue of uh, almost this dark burnt orange color buttons on the jacket with the navy blue turtleneck. Yes, I love this. And this is really easy to do, guys. Like I told you a few weeks back, this season right here, I love wearing turtlenecks and mock necks because they're, it's easy. It's not as much ironing as when you wear an actual dress shirt and then having to worry about a tie and all these other accessories. It's just easy to iron your turtleneck, put it on, and it keeps you super warm. So I love this in the fall and winter. So let's get into the fragrances again in no particular order. This one is one of my go-tos when it's warm outside, especially during the spring, and it gets me a lot of compliments from the House of Creed Silver Mountain Water. Silver Mountain Water, this is my baby right here, man. And this really low, this bottle. Again, guys, I don't know, again, about the, the new batch batches of Creed, the 3.3 ounce bottles. All of my fragrances, with the exception of Aventus Cologne and Viking, are in the four ounce bottles. So for some of you that are just getting into fragrances, maybe, because I remember one time I showed a four ounce bottle and somebody in the comment section thought that my fake fragrance was fake, but no. 
prior to I think 2019, somewhere around that time frame, Creed made all their fragrances into four ounce bottles. So again, that's what most of mine are. And this, this is really, this can't miss for me. This thing is so good, man. You have this very, it's very fresh. It's very fresh. There's this kind of inky metallic thing that people talk about. Yes, black currant in here, sandalwood. This is an amazing fragrance, all right? And again, we're talking about compliments on this guy's skin. This is one of the best that I have in my collection. So check it out, guys. You may like it for yourself. It may work for you. It's from the House of Creed. This is Silver Mountain Water. All right, guys, this next fragrance is actually a designer fragrance from the House of YSL, and this is Simply Why. This is the EDT. This is the EDT. Now, the other iterations of this fragrance, the EDP, I've gotten fragrances on all the others, but for some reason, on my skin, when you talk about compliments, this one has gotten me the most compliments. I've used a lot of this bottle, and this was really probably over the course of a year and a half or so, because, you know, once you start getting the other flankers, I start to wear those a little bit more, but still, when I talk about compliments, this one is another one for me that really doesn't miss that often seriously guys and you know what this is it's a really nice fresh aquatic fragrance and overall in general when you talk about appealing to the masses this is the kind of scent dna that usually tends to work if you're just talking about compliments so again another one that's really high up on my list obviously or i wouldn't be on this particular list from the house of ysl this is y or the toilet all right guys this next fragrance i have always said is my most complimented bond number nine. Now, Lafayette Street has come into the, you know, my collection and started to give this fragrance a little bit of a run for its money, but still, this is the one when you talk about compliments. Again, it's from bond number nine, and it's a scent of peace for him. Scent of peace for him. Now, a lot of people have in the past compared this to Aventus. Not really, man. I think uh, bond number nine HTTP is a lot closer to an Aventus kind of DNA. This does have black current in there. It does have black currant, it does have pineapple, but again, HTTP is way a lot more closer to a, an Aventus DNA than this one. This one does have grapefruit, and that grapefruit to me and this fragrance is a game changer. Some of the most memorable compliments that I've gotten have been on while wearing this particular fragrance. You guys see again, you notice on a lot of these fragrances, I've knocked out a lot of the bottle. Uh, in a lot of these fragrances that are highly complimented because a lot of times they're very versatile as well. I know I can throw this on anywhere that I'm going, any place, anytime, anywhere, and I'm gonna smell great. I'm gonna be one of the best smelling guys in the room and more than likely, in my experience, I don't know what y'all are doing, but in my experience, people compliment me. So check it out from the House of Bond number nine. Again, this is called Scent of Peace for him. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list, I'm just gonna show you the bottle from Tom Ford. This is Oud Wood. Oud wood is oud good. Yes, it is. I don't have to say much about this fragrance. I know a lot of you guys have tried it and you have had similar results to what, to what I have had when I wear this fragrance. One of my most memorable times wearing this fragrance and getting compliments was from the missus herself. I wore this on her birthday. I wanna say it was 2018. I think I wore this on her birthday. <laughs> She could not stop talking about this fragrance all night and how good it smelled. So it's one of my most complimented again. Another one for me that I really don't miss often with this one, man. I really don't miss with this. So check it out. It's from the house of Tom Ford. Again, this is called Oud Wood and it is Oud Good. The next fragrance over my list, guys, comes from the house of Armoff. Yep, you know what it is. Club Day New Intense Man. Club de Nuit Intense, man. And yes, does this smell like a vintage? Yes. Is it more synthetic? Hell yeah. <laughs> but it really projects more than a vintage when I put this on. For about that first hour, I think this one projects more. And because it's so close to the Aventus DNA, I think that contributes to it getting a little bit more compliments. Now, I do get compliments when I wear Creed Aventus as well, but if I'm comparing them, I probably get compliments with this a little bit more because people pick it up a little bit more in that first hour or so. Again, I've told you guys this story before. One of my most memorable compliments with this was, I sprayed it, I was about to head to work, and the missus was not here. She came home, and I was on the way to Walmart. I had to make a stop before I went to work. And uh, she called me and she was like, what are you wearing? I just smelled like a vintage, it's, it's, it's in the air. There was sea eyes that I left behind upstairs. And I told her what I was wearing. 
I was on the way into Walmart and I got a compliment from a lady. And when I got into Walmart, I got another compliment. Yep. That's this. Check it out, guys, from the house of our mom. And this stuff is, is you can get it for the low ski, man, for about 29 bucks. Can beat it from the house of our mom. This is Club Day New Intense, man. All right, guys. Now, this next fragrance, don't get upset. I know you got a lot of you guys look for this fragrance. You cannot really find it. It's discontinued. But I want to say this. Shout out to you guys. Pretty soon, we're going to hit that 100K subscriber. So shout out to you guys, my subscribers. And when I do hit the 100,000 subscribers, this will probably be right after the new year, I'm going to do a live stream. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways. I'm going to be giving away probably a 5 to 10 ml decan of this. I don't know which one yet, but I will be giving away a decan of this to one of my lucky subscribers. So you'll get a chance to experience it straight to heaven extreme from Killian. This, this should be... Guys, this should be against the law. <laughs> this thing right here should be unlawful. You should need a permit to carry this stuff and wear it. All right? I'm just saying that's how good it is on this guy's skin. Cedarwood, booziness from rum. Again, if you compare it to the original, and guys, you can get the original because it still smells the same, but they just amped up the booziness and the cedarwood in this one, and it performs longer than the original. But my God, this stuff is good. This is my wife's favorite fragrance on me. And it's no different when I wear it out in public, man. People just gravitate towards me when I wear this fragrance, especially when you dress like this. You just smell like <laughs> Mr. Freaking Untouchable. All right? You're definitely going to feel like the man when you walk through wearing this fragrance. So, guys, find, yeah, I think people sample there. There's some places you can find samples of it. So try to get it in your life, man. And if you're going to be the lucky subscriber that will win my giveaway uh, during the live stream, you'll have a chance to experience it. This is from The House by Killian. This is Straight to Heaven Extreme. And speaking of Creed Aventus, this is another fragrance that I rarely miss with when I put it on from the House of Creed. This is Aventus Cologne. Aventus Cologne. And again, not, we're not going to get all into notes and stuff like that, but this is a little bit fresher version of the original Creed Aventus. There are there's a more of a fruity kind of citrus vibe to this one that you get. In addition to just having that pineapple and Creed Aventus, you get, you know, again, an additional layer of, you know, fruits and citruses in the opening of this fragrance. And it's a little bit lighter version of the original. This is the best way to describe it without getting all technical about it. And man, <laughs> when I wear it, people want to know. They want to know. They want to know. They say your boy smells good when I wear this. And I would have to agree with them. <laughs> so check this one out. It's absolutely fantastic. This is Aventus Cologne. Now guys, say what you want. Say what you will about this next fragrance. It's still in my top 10 most complimented of all time. And I'm specifically talking about this iteration of it for me. From the house of Christian Dior. This is Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Now this is the EDP. I did a video recently and I talked about the fact that the Eau de Toilette I don't reach for it as much. And honestly, when I started wearing the EDP, which was a little bit richer, a little bit richer uh, than the original, um, not as volatile on the top notes and stuff like that. When I started wearing this one, this one really changed the game for me. Sure, I got compliments wearing the EDT. I've gotten compliments wearing the Elixir before. I've got compliments wearing the Parfum, but not as many as when I wear the EDP for whatever reason. It works on this guy's skin. So you guys know what this is. The one for me that works the most when you talk about compliments is this one, the EDP, the Eau de Parfum Concentration of Dior Sauvage. When I think about what this fragrance is consists of, what, it, what DNA, uh, DNA is I feel like this fragrance was built around, it's really hard to, uh, to believe that this wouldn't be a highly complimented fragrance. And it's from the house of novices. This is Viva More. And I've said it before, this fragrance gets compliments all the time. I mean, people go absolutely bonkers when I wear this fragrance. It's a mixture of Baccarat Rouge 540 and Aventus. Freaking brilliant. <laughs> Freaking brilliant. And this stuff, just a compliment monster. Period, point blank, end of the discussion, check it out. Guys, if you don't have this, what are you waiting for? I'm dead serious about this. Get this stuff, get this stuff, put it on your skin, Thank me later. From the House of Novices, this is called Beaver More. 
And last, but certainly not least, you guys know what this is, my most complimented fragrance of all time. This still holds the record, you've heard me say it before, for getting me the most compliments in one day. And this fragrance is from the house of, what is it? Frederick Mall, you got it. This is Portrait of a Man, AKA Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall. Stuff is absolutely stunning. Rose Oud Incense Patchouli. Seven compliments one day. Male and female. Both complimented me that day wearing this fragrance. It's just crazy what this does on my skin. You know, crazy what it does on my skin. I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody. I'm not saying any of these fragrances are gonna work for anybody. It's guaranteed to get anybody compliments. I'm just saying they work for your boy. And this one right here is stupid when we talk about compliments. It's from the house of Frederick Mall, guys. This is Portrait of a Man, AKA, <laughs> portrait of a lady that's it guys that is my time i hope you enjoyed this list today as always i sincerely appreciate all of you guys' time and attention and support of the channel i know you guys don't have to watch what you're doing sincerely man from the bottom of my heart i sincerely appreciate you guys now don't forget to make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think you know could use this information to find it entertaining because i'm your boy i'm the bow tie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell Amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.